Hey everybody, I'm just um, sharing another video. I'll put it below. Um, this woman's daughter, I guess, um, was given um, a dream and the takeaway basically is that yes, the fallen angels will come during the three days of darkness and they will be eating people alive. So you need to be abiding in Christ. If you haven't come to Christ, you need to come to Christ now. Um, and you need to be prepared when the three days of darkness comes. Um, real quick, I'll, I'll just go over the, the signs. The night before, um, there will be massive thunder and lightning, like abnormal thunder and lightning um, throughout the world. Then the next morning, the skies will look like aurora borealis. They will be red and orange. If you see that, then you need to immediately, um, you only have a half an hour, maybe an hour to prepare. You need to get inside somewhere, wherever you're going to stay, for three days. And if you don't have enough time to get to wherever you prefer to be, you better get in somewhere. And if you're going to be stuck in your car, your truck, your vehicle, then you need to make sure that you've got something to cover your windows, you know, whether you got like maybe some tape like uh, duct tape with like garbage bags or cardboard or something but one way or the other you need to be inside sheltered somewhere and you need to cover up you need to lock up you need to cover up all the windows etc um, I have other videos please go back and look for my my other videos on this topic um, but the fallen angels will come during the three days of darkness and they will eat people alive, they will torture, torment, and kill people. Um, the darkness itself will be paralyzing, just like in sleep paralysis. Um, you don't want to be, um, you don't want to have your, your windows or whatever open because um, you don't want to see what's going on to allow it to inject fear into your heart. You don't want them to see you. Um, I've heard other dreams that if you're not truly abiding in Christ, basically if, if the blood of Yeshua isn't over your home, so to speak, um, then these things, um, according to a dream that Estanya had, um, they'll even break open your windows and enter your house. So it really is important that you are saved, that you are abiding in Christ in repentance. Um, what else? Um, the, it's said that they will mimic the voices of those that you care about, those that you know, to try to trick you to open your doors and windows. Don't fall for it. Once you get inside and lock up, that's it. You don't um, you don't unlock for anybody. You don't open up for anybody. Um, and at that point, you're going to need to just pr just pray and worship and just um, really focus on Jesus like you never have, like your life depends on it. Um, and I guess he will let us know when, when the time is up. <clears throat> um, so I think that's everything I wanted to say on this topic. Um, and then, uh, unrelated, I'll just throw this in here. Um, I just heard back from another quote unquote safe haven. Um, there's one in Alabama, there's one in Georgia. Um, but you know, like I said, overall, it seems like there there really isn't any true safe havens in terms of like shelter and and all of that um there may be safe zones i'm not denying that at all but it seems that all these places that are claiming to be safe havens um they're not really providing anything in in the way of shelter so that to me confirms that we do need to be investing in um in like uh winter rated tents maybe those wood stove tents i'm still praying about that myself I, i've narrowed it down there's a there's a certain north face tent that's rated for winter and then there's all these uh like like wood stove temps or, or, or tents that you can put a, a a wood stove in with a chimney and all that so major price difference but so anyway just throwing that out there as well um all right i think that's it for this video all right bye